Hello, my YouTube family. Can we say this was beat up Nancy Day? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, the big wigs were not in today. So that left me rather defenseless. Um, meetings in the city and whatnot. So the big wig attorneys, my boss included, uh, they were all out there. So basically, when the bosses are not in and phone calls are coming in for the people that are still in the office, they don't want to take their phone calls. Good morning, name of law firm. How may I help you? I'd like to speak to X, Y, and Z. Hold on, please. Regarding? So on and so forth. Okay, hold on one moment. X, Y, and Z. ABC is on the phone and uh, they would like to speak to you regarding such and such. Well, I don't want to speak to them. And don't send them in my voicemail either. So, bitch, what do you want me to do with the call? What would you like me to do? This was me all day. On high. To the point where another co-worker, God bless her soul, when she sees that I am stretched, stressed beyond, she'll say, Nancy, get out. Go take a walk. Go outside, take a breath. I said, no, I'm good. No, she said, no, you're not. Go outside and take a breath. I went outside, boo-boo, and I sat there for 15 minutes. Why are y'all giving me a hard time? It's not my fault that you chose this profession to be in, and now your phone calls are coming in, and you don't want to take them, and you don't want them to be in your voicemail? So what do you want me to do with them? So I just keep saying, well, their, their voicemail is, is full right now. Uh, try calling back in another hour. So the other hour goes by, here comes that same caller. But I, I thought I told you, yeah, you told me to, yeah. And I told him that your voicemail was full, and I didn't put it in your voicemail. What would you like me to do with this call? Oh, okay, fine, I'll take it. See, when I get to that level of stress and they hear it in my voice, that's when they're like, oh, shit, Nancy is stressed. We better. Yeah, but by that point, why do you have to get me there in order to be all oh, Nancy stressed? Why do you have to get me to the stress point? Why don't you do what you're supposed to do? Because I, for sure, am doing what I'm supposed to do, which is taking the calls and giving them to you. So why aren't you taking the calls? And you don't want them in your voicemail. After a while, I just put them in the voicemail anyway. Whether you hear the voicemail or whether you don't, I don't want to hear it. Because when I reach at this level, when you, they hear my voice right here, pitched, oh, okay, mm-hmm, oh, okay is right, oh, okay is right. You chose this profession. So now you're in the profession this profession calls for a lot of phone calls. Were, were you not aware? You're an attorney. Were you not aware? You're an attorney's assistant. Were you not aware? Were you not aware? Because if you wanted to be a librarian, then go and do that. Leave this job and go and, and be a librarian. That doesn't have to answer phone calls. Maybe you need to just put the books in alphabetical order. Maybe that's what you chose. Maybe that, that's what you want to do. Because right now, you sitting where you are, and the big wigs are out, that means you have to take the calls, boo-boo. And then one of the attorneys, the one that likes me, he calls asking for his assistant, calls her, she ain't picking up, she's roaming, roaming around or just not picking up the phone, then he calls me, where is she? I'm sitting at the front desk, and I told him so. I said, I don't know, I'm sitting here, she sits back there. I, I have no idea. Would you like me to go look for her for you? And he heard the, the he's like, okay, Nancy, okay. Um just just see if you could you could page her or I said, okay. She's standing right outside her office. I said, um, so and so is looking for you. He is on the phone. He would like to speak to you. Oh, he's been bothering me all day. Bitch, I don't care. Guess what? Guess what? I don't care. You work for him. 
you've been working for him for over five years now. You, you're not aware that days like this happen and you have to pick, pick up the phone? You're not aware that he calls you every five minutes? You're not aware? Everybody else can escape. They can get up, they can walk away, they can do, but the receptionist has to sit and answer these calls. And then sometimes I'll know that the person is not in, I'll put the call in their voicemail. That person will call back. Is so and so not in the office? Bitch, I put you in their voicemail for a reason. No, they're not in the office, but they do call for their phone calls, their messages. Would you like me to... Yes, could you put me back into the... It has been that kind of a day all day. And it's becoming more and more stressful almost every single day. Before, I used to sit there until lunch, and then I would... Who saw I have my little 30 minutes and then I would go back. Now, I have to take a break at around 11 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock, quarter to 11, somewhere around there, because that's when the stress level is already on peak. It is on high. It's not even noon yet, and you guys are stressing me out. Why are you doing that? When I first started, it was relatively easy. Well, because I had little girl. And she would really be the buffer for me for the most part. But still, you know, when she decided to stroll, roam around and not pick up the phone calls, I would still be having to answer these phone calls. But it used to be easy. So-and-so, there's a call for you, such and such. Okay, send them through. Everybody was really relatively easy. And now... Little girl is no longer there, so it's just, it's on me all the way. And before I used to get stressed when I was already on the call and another, all the other phones would be ringing, now nah, I don't give a fuck. Now I'm on the call, I see the other lines ringing, somebody else will pick it up. Because it eventually bounces to other phones. I'm, I'm not, I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing anymore. Stressing for why? Stressing for who? I should have taken a glass of soda or something because I need one now. Needless to say, after, while I'm uploading this, that's what I'm going to do. Tall glass, filled with ice, blah, blah, blah. I may need more than one glass full because it was that kind of a day. Lips of the day, which that's another thing. The, the, the least the lip gloss could have done was last. But oh no. It's NYX uh, gloss. And this is in the shade Pinky Natural. Why, why don't I put it on for you? Because it just disappeared. This is Pinky Natural, and this. Is Pinky Natural. Really not one of my favorites, but there's pink in my shirt. So, I see a day off. I was really, I'm, I'm this close to calling in tomorrow. This close. But I don't think I will. I will finish off the week. It's already Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I can do it. Monday may be a different story. But I'll finish off the week. I'll finish it off. There are certain co-workers who, at a, at a, at a whim, they can take off. 
whether they can or they can't, they do anyway because they've been there a while. Yeah. I understand now why before I was hired or when I was hired, I heard rumblings of Oh, the, the, the receptionist before you only lasted three days. Or the receptionist before you didn't even last a week. I understand. I, I get it now. Because if it was like this today, if it was like today, when they were starting, completely understandable. Completely. Completely understandable. But I need a paycheck. I've got bills. And... Fortunately, I, I got this job two weeks after I was let go from the other job. Just two weeks. That may not happen again. So I am going to suck it up buttercup and do this job. But if days like this continue, yeah, the, the, the next day, <coughs> I'm not feeling well. I got a migraine. Not tomorrow, not Friday. Monday's questionable. Who sign doesn't even help anymore? Who sign doesn't even help anymore? It used to take a deep breath. Who saw? And then I would just carry on. No, not anymore. I mean, to the point today where, like I said, one of the co-workers said, you need to step out. You need to go away. I sat outside the building. I mean, I, I took the elevator down outside, sat in front of the stairs of the building, and I needed 15 minutes just to sit there. It was hot as hell. I just did not care. I just did not care. I needed to sit there. I don't know if I took a full 15 Maybe 7 to 10, but yeah. Because why are you guys stressing me out? I am the receptionist. I have certain responsibilities. The callers are calling for you. Why aren't you doing your responsibilities? I can't do the job for you. If I did your job, then that would mean I would need your paycheck as well. So what's it gonna be, Bubble? You gonna take you gonna take the call? Please, Lord Jesus, let tomorrow be a better day. That is all I ask for. Tomorrow needs to be a better day. All right, people. That is it. That is all. Thank you for letting me vent. Thank you for letting me have a good old hoosa because they're coming fast and furious, more so than necessary. Let tomorrow be a better day. Let Friday be a better, better day. And, uh, you know, let me just try to end this week on a good note. Let me just try to do that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. What you? Oh, I, <laughs> I wiped it off. Um, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, in better spirits. Okay. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.